okay welcome back uh, in this modi i am going to show you how an employee in finance east coast railway headquarters finance be it it cell or be it uh, administration or fnc or secretariat depending upon the division or the unit is going to register himself and how the verification is to be done by the nodal officer that is the senior system manager so you know our uh, url is ecrhattendance.gov.in and this is the dashboard there in the dashboard you are having a tab called employee registration you go to that tab you are going to find the details which are to be entered by the employee since aadhar number is essential you are going to first read all the instructions contained here along with the notes and then fill in the details um let's assume that uh, the person has got the employee has got his aadhar number his email his mobile you can see that all these are having red asterisks which means other than the date of birth uh and the name of the organization which is already there because it comes from the from the portal i mean if it is ecrh over here it has to be east coast railway headquarters finance odisha over here so um these are tagged and you can see in the drop down it's rail bhavan in the employee type you are having these where uh, uh, even the outsourced employees but generally we would uh, have government employees as the choice and the divisions are the divisions that has been already entered by the nodal officer of east coast east coast railway headquarters finance uh, which i have showed you in the earlier movie that is it section and fnco secretariat and uh, more sections can be added and they can appear in this drop down list so the employee uh, enters these details and he submits and gets out of it once he is done this he is going to get a mail which i'll show you he gets a mail which says that you have successfully registered in the biometric attendance system your registration number is so and so your mobile number is so and so regards what i did was i had registered myself as an employee even though i am the nodal officer but i also registered myself as an employee over here so uh, i mean uh, it can be done for any of the employees let's get back to the um, dashboard now once the employee has done this he gets his uh, message then he has to wait for his user id and login once he gets that user id login he can always go to employee login and you know get inside the get to get his dashboard and uh, i don't know what is on offer because uh, i am still to get uh, my user id as a as a as a user as a as a person who is going to provide his attendance so that is maybe i'll cover that in another movie when i get my user id and password as a user let me remind you that whatever i'm showing you here is because i have already got my user id and password as a nodal officer so uh, that's all about employee registration and uh, i'll show you now uh, what happens when the employee registers himself tries to register himself now let me log in as uh, the nodal officer and show you how when this employee you know registers himself how the nodal officer is going to uh, verify this employee so there is a tab called manage employee if you press it you'll see there is a there is a tab inside that tab which says employee new request once you press it you are going to see the attendance id aadhar number employee name mobile number etc moving on so uh, since i had put up a request 